Welcome back to TK Tennis. So today we have a review for Diadem Flash. And I had a recent comment that said I've been rambling too much in my reviews. And I think that person might be right. That was about a 10 minute long video, my last two videos. So let's see if we can get right into it and cut these videos down into about six or seven minutes. And by the way, if you think that commenter was wrong, but I think he's right. So let's get into it. So on the control attributes with Diadem Flash, uh, it was very good. I was a slightly softer poly, so mid-level poly. The control was very good, like you expect in most polys. Nothing really to talk about on the control section, so it's not super stiff. Going on to spin potential, also very good. Um, what you'd expect out of a poly, since it's not, it's a round poly, it's not shaped. It doesn't have particularly extra grip than you have from any normal round poly. So it gets a typical very good in the spin potential category. Moving to snapback, this is a fairly slick coated string. Um, so it does snap back very, very good or in between very good and excellent. Um, it's not dry, so it doesn't stay out of place. It pretty much returns to its full position after each and every shot. So it's borderline excellent or borderline very good to excellent right in that, that in between level. On the power category, also, not a lot to talk about here. Um, it gets you what you would expect out of a good poly because it's a medium level poly, medium soft level poly. Um, the power is normal. There is nothing extra and nothing muted about it. It's exactly what you expect to get out of a good poly. And so that's a, that's a great thing. And you don't necessarily ever see highs on polys because the high category is pretty much reserved for multi-filaments that have a lot more power or guts. So, you know, what you'd expect for a poly. Durability was high, got me about seven and a half hours before I broke the strings, which is normal for me. So durability was very good. Tension maintenance was also very predictable and very solid, uh, that sort of higher to normal category, uh, right in between normal and high. The strings didn't get really flat. They didn't get mushy. They didn't get too soft. They got, of course, a little bit softer once you get to five or six hours. Um, but they still seem to hold tension quite well. Overall feel, how do you describe these strings? Not firm and not soft, right in between. These are medium soft strings. I would equate them closest to Selenko Confidential, so that medium soft range. Some people think Confidential is really soft. I don't think so. It's also not firm. So I equate it to Selenko Confidential in that terms of feel. And it's also, you know, a little bit crisp, not because it's medium and it's not soft, where soft toward it tends to get more of a muted or just a soft feel. It has some crispiness to it because it's medium, but it's certainly not defined as being crisp. Um, and it doesn't get a lively because it doesn't give you any ex anything extra for free. And it's certainly not harsh. So the overall grade, for intermediate level players, so where I define sort of like three five to four O's, I think it's a B string. It's a very good string. It could work for that level of player. For advanced level players, sort of that four five to five O, it gets an A minus. Uh, if you want a very predictable, solid string, it gets an A minus. And if you're a high caliber player, five O and up or five five and up, it's probably just a little bit too soft for you. Not a lot soft, but not as crisp and not as performant as you'd want it to be as a really big committed hitter as a high caliber player. So it would get a B. So who is it for? It's for recreational players in the 4.0 to 4.5 range and 5.0s who may prefer a little bit more forgiving string compared to something like Diadem Pro X. This string has a great balance between performance and comfort. There are no bad attributes to highlight and whether you love or just really like the string will be a personal preference. Would I use it again? It's borderline for my game. I like to get a string that gives me a little bit more for free, but it's a very, it's a great string, but it doesn't get me too excited. Um, but I would certainly use it again if I needed to. Uh, but I have a few other strings that I would prefer more at my level. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next ace.